Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Ace and I have more Team Fortress 2 commentary. And as you can see, I am rocking the sniper on upward. And this video is going to be a little bit on the long side, but that's because I have a lot to talk about regarding the sniper loadout. But if you are just here to see why a specific uh, or what the specific loadout is that is recommended to be the best one currently in game, especially if you are considering a more competitive play, then no worries, I will tell you right now, it's the stock rifle, the SMG, and the, the Shanashaha. It's the weapon that does more damage when you have taken damage, and vice versa. So, if you are still watching, uh, make sure to stick around, because I will go into the detail and to the logic why this is the case. But even if you are about to close this window, just make sure that you understand the philosophies of being a good sniper, which are sniper mobility, Moving around, make sure you keep doing that. And never stand still on a position too long, as well as situational awareness, but that applies to every single class within any kind of skill-based game, especially FPSs. But let's dive directly into the primaries. There's currently five primaries in game. Uh, the City Sleeper can pretty much be discarded directly due to the fact that it doesn't make headshots as well as the use of the Gerardi you can apply from a very far distance it is only situational and most of the time the regular sniper rifle will be more useful therefore it's not recommended to use it the Bizarre Bargain has a similar issue, it's very unreliable in doing um, what it's supposed to be doing basically because when you miss a shot you lose your benefit if you had it to begin with and even the greatest snipers missed sh uh, in the world miss shots, right? So, the stock rifle is once again more reliable and therefore better. The Huntsman isn't even a rifle and I, it's always banned. So you can practically discard the one as well. And the Makina, I'm not entirely sure if it's officially banned, I believe it is, but even so, it's a completely horrid sniper rifle because it goes against every single philosophy that makes a sniper a good sniper as well uh, as well as the fact that it gives away your position after each shot so if you are using that you are in my eyes by definition a bad sniper or just a new sniper it's one of the two but if if you have been playing as a sniper for a while and you still use the Makina you're bad which is ironically coming from me a person that is half decent on a good day and just missed a completely obvious headshot on the down man so you know see where it's coming from so everything I say should be taken with a grain of salt um, going to the secondaries of course the submachine gun is the most recommended due to the fact that you can defend yourself uh, with it against scouts, pyros, spies of course followed directly by the Gerardi and even though the Gerardi is very nice it, it doesn't allow you to defend yourself against those classes if they're decent, because they will know to stand their distance if they are covered in Gerardi. Um, it does give very nice utility, but once you have used it, there's a pretty long time that you don't, that you are unable to use it because it has to recharge, which leaves you even more vulnerable than to begin with, if you were, for example, not using any kind of secondary. The Razorback gives a very false sense of security because even though it does stop one backstab. Everything else in the game can still kill you, as well as a spy can still shoot you in the head like an ambassador, followed up by a quick body shot and you're still dead. So the Razorback is just an item that gives you a false sense of security, which affects your situational awareness and mobility in the long run, once you get used to it. At least that's what I see a lot in games. Like, Makina snipers combined with the Razorback, they basically stand still and actually crouch, to get better aim? I never understand that. Why would you crouch in Team Fortress 2? You don't get better aim because of it. But before I digress too much in a rant about snipers in pubs, directly move on, of course, to the Darwin's Danger Shield. Darwin's Danger Shield is very situational because the times that it actually helps you survive a blow is very limited. And you have to consider that you have to sacrifice either utility or the ability to defend yourself properly with it. Uh, and of course with that I mean Gerardi and the SMG and everything that can kill you in one or two shots will most likely still kill you in one or two shots uh, if you are still using the Darwin's Danger Shield for example think of uh, two nice place rockets, stickies, uh, headshots 
uh, head counter headshots are probably the best example because a, a headshot is 150 damage and with the Darwin shield you have 150 damage which still means you instantly die so it seems like a, a bad trade-off to sacrifice the ability to defend yourself for practically nothing actually if you think about it but moving on to the melee weapons and if you are using Jurati it's a no-brainer it's just the Bushwaka because even though it does give you a penalty uh, against fire uh, when a pyro catches you off guard you are going to die with or without a weapon anyway so it does not matter and if you are using the SMG the Shanashaha or whatever it's pronounced will give you the most benefits because most in most cases you will have taken some damage um, at the time that you can use that melee weapon anyway so if you then use it you will do more damage of course but if you want to have a reliable uh, melee weapon then the stock weapon should be just as well uh, be efficient enough to get the job done in the situations where you have not taken enough damage at least and if you just want to have an additional edge against spies the ship um, the tribal man ship should be good enough but that's just personal preference the shadow Shah is still recommended anyway guys if you found this video informative or useful or even just good because of the gameplay footage make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you haven't and if you have any requests about class items or games even make sure to post them here or on my facebook and i will catch you guys later